everyone, it's Britta from Paracord Planet, and today I'm going to be showing you how to weave an awareness ribbon into your Cobra bracelet. Um, these create the awareness ribbon design that are very popular, especially during the month of October for Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Since it's November, I created this bracelet in honor of Alzheimer's Awareness Month um, with the purple, so stay tuned to find out how we did this. For this tutorial, you will need these following materials. First, you will need some sort of a tool to poke through your already woven bracelet. Um, you can use either FIDS, like I have here, or our knotters tool. Um, you're going to need some sort of an object that has a sharp end like this, and this is going to help us actually um, insert the awareness ribbon into the bracelet. So you're going to want something sharp, um, either FIDS or the knotters tool. Next, you will need about five inches of some scrap or short paracord that you're going to weave as your awareness ribbon. Um, for this bracelet, since it's purple, I'm going to want to have a white ribbon on it. So here is just my little scrap end of cord here. Um, you can be very flexible as to what uh, sort of cord you use. Next, you're going to need a fully finished Cobra Weave bracelet. Um, the Cobra Weave is a very, very easy weave. I'm sure a lot of paracord um, enthusiasts know about it already. Um, we do have a tutorial about the Cobra Weave. If you're not familiar, um, you can go ahead and check it out on our channel. Um, and you're going to want to make sure that the bracelet is woven tight for this tutorial. Next, you'll need a lighter, and this will be to melt the ends of our scrap cord um, once it's woven into the bracelet as an awareness ribbon. And then finally, you're going to want a pair of scissors to cut your cord once we weave it into the bracelet. So to begin our awareness ribbon weave onto our bracelet, we're first going to look and find the center point. This is where the uh, ribbon is going to start. So you're going to take your knotters tool or fid and you're going to find the center. So for me, that's right about here. You're going to take your knotters tool and you're going to insert it into the bracelet. So you're going to kind of pull the, this weave apart. So you're going to want to stick the fid through the bracelet just like so. It's kind of making a little loop there. I don't know if you can see that. Just a little tiny loop and this is where we're going to actually insert our cord. Make sure this loop is nice and big for the cord to fit through. We're going to take our end of scrap cord and we're going to insert it into the bracelet. And this is where you can also use the fid to kind of help you guide this cord through. So once the cord has been guided through, you're going to pull it through just slightly. And then this is what it'll look like on the back. It'll just kind of stick out there through the bracelet. Next, you're going to find the top part of your awareness ribbon. So this is going to be the weave that's just right diagonally across from where you started. So we started here. So now our awareness bracelet is actually going to um, loop through the top of the bracelet right here. So again, you're just going to do that same thing with the knotters tool. You're going to take it and insert through the top of the bracelet, therefore creating that other opening for the cord to fit through. You're going to do the same thing, just weaving the cord through using your knotters tool. So you'll want to pull the cord through the top of the bracelet nice and tight here. We want to make sure this cord isn't going anywhere. Now that the cord has been weaved through the top of the bracelet, we need to cross it over and bring it back down to the bottom of the bracelet. It's really that simple. So you'll again go next to where we started the awareness ribbon bracelet weave on the top and you're going to cross it over into this part right here. So again, just take your knotters tool and create that opening for the cord. You're going to bring, wrap the cord around like that. Again, just weaving that cord right through the top of your bracelet. You need to make this hole a little bigger to fit the cord through. 
The knotter's tool is really nice for this because it does go from smaller to kind of wider and wider and wider, so this will help you make it an easier size hole to work with. So again, just pulling that end of the cord tight. And now, as you can see, we only have one more thing left to do on the bracelet. We just need to connect it again at the bottom. So our awareness weave bracelet stretches about three notches, one, two, three, across the bottom, and then one, two notches across the top. So that's just kind of the rule of thumb. Um, you can make them wider. I prefer this method because then the awareness ribbon is evenly spaced on your bracelet and lays nice and flat. So we're going to just make our last hole here on the bracelet and we, we are going to take it and just push the cord right through the bottom there. Again, using your knotter's tool to weave it through if you need to. And pulling that cord tight. So now, as you can see, our awareness ribbon it has been completed. Now all we have to do is just cut the ends and seal them off with our lighter just like you would any other um, paracord project. So we'll take our scissors, we'll cut that first bit off, and the second bit off. So we're gonna wanna melt the ends of the paracord right here to the back of the bracelet, that way they won't show when you actually wear it. So we'll take our lighter and melt that first end and you'll want to use your scissor to push that melted end of the cord nice and flat against your bracelet. You want to melt that other end and push that flat against your bracelet. So it's really that simple folks. The Awareness Ribbon Bracelet is complete. You can repeat this design all over the bracelet if you do feel like um, it needs more. I prefer just one awareness ribbon on the bracelet, but it's really that simple. Thanks for watching. We really hope you enjoyed this tutorial today. Uh, please like this video and comment uh, with your favorite um, awareness ribbon and make sure to follow us on all of our social media. It'll be linked in the description bar. Thank you.